Hello, my name is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Coreball.com and today I am going to show you a dashboard that will help you understand how your web pages are performing. So here's how the dashboard looks like. And uh, what you can see is that the site, this website is divided in three categories, you have blog pages, glossary pages and business pages. This is something that you have to configure in your uh, Google Analytics account. Okay, so there is a link down below on how to do that. But once you have it, it is very, very, very useful. I'm going to give you some examples. This is a little bit too simplistic. So here we have from Bakerman. He's in Dutch, probably. Uh, but he has a very interesting example. So, for example, it has a, this is a web shop, and these are the categories they have chosen. Uh, there's product pages, sale pages, checkout pages, brand pages. And you can see how many page views and average time on page and bounce rate, and you can have like revenue that was relevant. Here's another example for a spa. I have a spa center homepage, restaurant contact pages, reservation pages, gift card pages. So very, very useful actually. Where I miss from these Google Analytics report is you don't actually get this snapshot view of how big it actually is and you don't really see how it's actually been growing on time. Of course you can do that with a custom report, but with this simple dashboard, you can see visually that, for example, here the blog pages is like 70% of the traffic, more, more or less, and it's something that is steadily growing on time. You can see how much the categories are growing through time, and you can see that the blog pages are very important pages. A lot of business today, they have this kind of pages and it blog pages. And it takes a lot of time to, to do it and to do it well. So it's, I think this would help if you categorize um, the content that way. You will see if the time and effort and money that you're putting in creating a blog is actually giving you traffic. And then of course you need to understand if that traffic is actually leading to conversions. That would be step two. but at least you know that, okay, it's bringing people to my site now. Is that the right people? That's the question you have to answer. I want to show you the last thing. And is here, Justin Cutroni has a very good web blog post talking about content group and strategies. Um, is giving you examples about the type of categories you could use, why. So I'm going to put that link also down below so you can check it out. And then follow his advice, his uh, Google employee, like, like excellent guy. And here in the Microsoft Power Community, Power BI Community, there is a post if you want to build this yourself on how to do that. Otherwise, you can download it in our site and the link is also down below. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you start uh, categorizing your website. It's going to give you tons of insights and it will be very, very helpful. If you need help uh, either with categorizing or creating a dashboard, let me know. There is a contact link also down below, so have a nice evening. Bye!